You are looking at the viewing party at the Deer District outside of Pfizer Forum here in Milwaukee, where they expect the gathering of 10,000 fans. But inside the building, it'll be a packed house and a degree of anxiety for a Bucks team looking to even up the series. You ready for this? Man, this is the best time of the year. But how are they going to find an answer for this man right here? I had a lot of time. I had a lot of time. No, we didn't. Wow, he just did that. We got to come out, game two, got to compete, or we got to be better. Holiday's putting it down! We'll get smarter, we'll play better. Keep your heads up. The Hawks are legit. Oh! We can't too far to get here and we're going to keep fighting. We welcome you inside Pfizer Forum for game two of the NBA Eastern Conference Finals on TNT, presented by AT&T, the fifth seed Cinderella team, the Atlanta Hawks, face the second seed Milwaukee Bucks in game two of the best of seven, Hawks with the upset in game number one, the winner of this series to play the winner in the West in the NBA Finals. Hi everybody, I'm Marv Albert, along with Hall of Famer Reggie Metal. will be joined in a moment by Stephanie Reddy, working the sidelines. So the unexpected pull off by the Hawks on Wednesday night, uh, thanks to the extraordinary play of Trey Young, 48 points, 11 rebounds, 7 assists. You were out of your seat <laughs> during the course of the game. You were going to Zerk watching Trey. Look, if Trey wasn't a household name before these playoffs, he certainly is now. You mentioned his playoff career high, 48 points, 11 assists, and at the age of 22, Marv, what I love, he's not afraid of the moment. He just always seems to make the right play. As for the Bucks, Giannis Antetokounmpo was on top of his game once again. 34 points, 12 rebounds, 9 assists, and a very respectable 6 of 8 from the free throw line, which you and I will get into more in-game. Chris Middleton, an awful game one performance. 6 of 23 from the field, only 15 points. Marv, he needs to be better, and I think he will be better tonight. Uh, let's check out the starting lineup presented by Kia. For the Bucks, same as game one, Giannis, P.J. Tucker, Brooks Lopez in the backcourt, Chris Middleton, and Drew Holiday. For the Atlanta Hawks up front, John Collins, Kevin Herter, and Clint Capella. And at the guard, Bogdan Bogdanovich, despite the knee issues, and Trey Young. The lead official, Scott Foster, as we check out the officiating crew, working with Pat Flair and Courtney Kirkland, the alternate, Mark Lindsay, and in the replay center, it is Tom Washington as Giannis controls the opening tip. 